Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll see how we can uh, write a program in PL SQL in order to reverse a string. So reversing a string, it's very simple. The logic also is very simple. The program is very simple. So you know, just this program is mainly you know dedicated for the beginners to PL SQL or whichever programming language we use this logic only. So it's nothing but whatever string we are going to enter, we just want the reverse of it. Just the way uh, now, if the user is going to input as Radhika, then the, the reverse of the string is going to be something like this. Okay. So we will see how we can achieve this output in our uh, using our PL SQL logic. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, let us begin with the program. Uh, as usual, we're going to start with the declare block. In the declare block, we know that we are going to you know, define some variables. So there are a number of variables I'm going to uh, you know use here. The first variable is going to be str, and the str variable is going to uh, be of varchar type, and it's going to uh, hold uh, 20 characters. Okay, and this variable is the one which is going to hold the value that's been entered by the keyboard by the user. Okay, so this is how we are going to declare a variable okay so once after this uh, another variable we're going to declare another variable called len and it's going to be of number type we'll see why we are go we have declared this uh, uh, len variable as we move on with the program then there is going to be another uh, variable called str1 and the same as uh, str it's going to be of varchar type and it's going to hold same as the str variable itself so this is these are the variables that we are going to use in our program so str is going to take the variable so take the input from the keyboard that is whatever the user is going to enter everything will be fetched by this and it will be stored in the str variable then the len variable will see as we go str1 variable is the one which is going to uh, store the value that is the reverse value of the str Okay, so we are going to do some uh, calculation or manipulations with this str variable, and the same will be stored in str1. And finally, we are going to display the uh, you know whatever contents are there in this variable using this str1. Okay, so this is what is the is declared in our declare section. So next, uh, let us move on with the begin block, where um, the begin block is where the logic will be present, as we all know. So here in the begin block what I'm going to do first is I'm whatever the user is going to enter first we need to know how many characters that does that string have so in order to know that we are going to use this len variable the len variable is going to uh, take the uh, input based on the length of the string okay so what we are going to do is just say len and then it's going to take the length so length is the function Okay, inbuilt function in PL SQL. So this length is going to uh, this length function is going to calculate the number of characters that are present in the inputted string str, and the same value will be present uh, will be you know transferred to this len variable. So len variable, as we saw, it's a number type. So it's going to have the uh, how many numbers, whether it's of four characters or five characters that's been entered as I said in the beginning Radhika so it's going to be of six characters so the six will be stored in this len variable okay so after this once we have uh, you know uh, got the uh, value I mean got the uh, length of the string now our actual you know uh, logic will start what we are going to do is we are going to use the for loop over here so that we can keep looping uh, until the uh, the entire string is reversed so how we are how we are going to achieve this is just say for we know how the for loop and all will uh, work we have already seen all those thing things in the previous tutorial so if you have if you haven't if you don't know how the for loop or the loops will work like while loop do while and all just go back to my uh, channel there are many videos related to pl sql you can go through those those uh, you know, loops and all and then get back to this uh, tutorial so uh, so the for loop what exactly it happens is i'm going to say for and I'm going to take up a variable. We know that uh, I it need not be declared in this declare section because it's automatically, you know, declared whenever we give this for loop. So for i in one two 
len okay so 1 to len in the sense uh, it's going to start from 1 and then end till l len we know that len is going to carry the uh, number value so it's going to be 1 to 6 or 1 to 7 or 1 to 8 based on the input uh, uh, or the based on the uh, string that's been provided by the user okay so one uh, once this is done okay so what we are going to do is we are going to loop loop till the for loop is true okay we all know that the for loop will keep on looping until the uh, condition is true uh, if it fails then the it will come out the you know the uh, actual control will come out of the loop okay so once uh, uh, for i is uh, in in between these one to len it will keep looping what exactly happens while looping is we are going to say str1 so you can see that we are taking this variable here so str1 is going to uh, have this uh, calculations like uh, it's going to say we are going to say str1 so it and then concatenate it with substring so substring is also a string function in pl sql even we have discussed regarding the substring also in a previous tutorial so i comma 1 okay so this is the main uh, logic over here we are going to uh, you know the it's going to do the substring of the string that has been given and the same will be stored will, will be concatenated each time while each looping to the str1 and the same will be stored in the str1 so please go through the substring function in order to understand this entire program so this is very important in my previous tutorial there's already the uh, you know the uh, you know explanation regarding the substring function so you can go through that so once after the concatenation of the string the reverse of the string is done we are going to say end loop okay so the uh, loop will get ended once the condition fails then finally uh, let me just uh, know display saying dbms underscore output dot put underscore line uh, and i'm going to display what str1 okay so and then we are going to end the program here so if you see there is uh, something wrong in the logic we'll see what it is so We'll first run this program and then analyze what is wrong in our program okay so let me run this program over here in our sql plus app so here if when i enter a value you can see that it has been successfully completed whereas the string has not been reversed it's because uh, the thing is we are uh, giving in for loop as for i in 1 to len that is we are starting from you know uh, we are not uh, we are starting it from the ascending order that is not what we want in order to concatenate we need to reverse the string so it needs to begin from the higher value that is the end of the string so that we need to give it as reverse okay when we say reverse the whatever value if it is 1 to 6 then the for loop will start from 6 and then it will reduce by 5 4 and it keeps looping in the descending order so that's what is required over here so now when you run this program the logic is going to work so you can see here you can see that uh, once when we reversed when we added this string you know reverse in our for loop you can see the output is correct over here so in the same way you can give uh, even uh, some sentence also like can see the same thing is also reverse so this is what is about uh, the how to write a program in uh, pl sql uh, for reversing a string hope uh, the program you have understood the program it has and you have uh, uh, know, uh, uh, known how to uh, what exactly is the logic behind this so uh, i guess uh, it's uh, it's a very useful program for uh, basic pl sql programmers so hope uh, mm, people are enjoying my tutorials um, let me know if you have any uh, queries uh, on uh, PL SQL or SQL or Unix or Informatica. I'll come up with more number of uh, you know, other skill sets also soon. And uh, thank you very much for watching.